The YMCA means a great deal to me. Everybody talks about functional fitness and, and what does functional fitness mean to different people. But to me, functional fitness means things like, I don't walk to the curb cup to step down. I can actually step down off a curb. I can reach the top shelf of my kitchen cabinets because I can reach now where I couldn't before. It has been just extraordinarily beneficial to me health-wise. Uh, I went to actually more of a personal training type. Um, facility first. I didn't realize just how extensive the programming was here, whether it's group exercise or personal training or you know, swimming or racquetball uh, or child watch for the kids. They have all these great programs that are available here. And for me, gymnastics camp, um, as a full-time single mom, I know that when they're here at the Y, they're having fun. Uh, the hours are great. I don't have to be racing out of work quickly to pick them up. Um, and it is affordable, which is um, you know, challenging with some summer camps when they're having to go every week to camp. The Y welcomed us with open arms with all of our chaos as I pushed in a kid, two kids in a stroller, a kid on my back, and a kid in tow behind. Yeah, it just felt, it was one of the few places that we could go and just be us. My, my wife and I both work full-time. She's a teacher and um, you know I work full-time in Northampton and the school-age child care program at the school means that, that we're able to be a two-parent working family and know that, that our child is well cared for and happy after school. It's a place where kids can grow. You, they can learn lessons that they wouldn't get to learn anywhere else just by putting so much work into swimming. They, I mean, they don't just work, they're goofing off, they're having fun, they're being with their friends, but they work really hard and they, they get to learn what that means um, and what you can earn by doing that. Because I have a, a, an inflammatory form of arthritis, my lower body joints are very bad. So for years, I have not been able to walk down or up a set of stairs. Within, I'd say probably two months, I was able to walk up and down a set of stairs. That may not sound like much, but again, uh, to me, it's just incredible. Um, so it made a big, big difference in my life and in the way I live my life. I don't know, I mean, I definitely got the impression first time I came that there was no judgment like from whoever was showing me around and I, I just, felt that, that warmth. You know, I think at All Out Adventures, we work primarily with people who don't always feel as though the community is open to them, um, whether that's because of age or physical disability or with the veterans we worked with who are still working to reintegrate to the community. Most of our time is spent with people uh, really working hard to pry open doors, both on the community side saying, yeah, th this is a place you belong, and then also helping our program participants kind of be in these spaces that, that the community is in. We have a variety of um, programs and um, just opportunities, whether that's from camps to after school to swim lessons to basketball leagues to gymnastics. The Live Strong program gives um, you know survivors uh, a place where they can you know meet and uh, offer support you know and encouragement to other survivors. It's really important that they are that they feel that they have a place that they can come to and the Live Strong program is really in place to help them get through that next phase on their road to recovery. So it's a sense of family and community Everyone is welcome and belonging. Yeah. The Y has so many programs for so many different age groups, but there's also a real social component to the Y. Oh, I think it's a huge, uh, uh, valuable asset to the community. I think it's harder to find places where so many different people from so many different backgrounds be able to come to one place, you know, to work on on their own physical well-being, 
uh, to get healthy, to take uh, classes, to maybe uh, help them recover from something like cancer or help them get through Parkinson's with some of the specialty programs that we have here. I mean, it would, ju it would just be an incredible void, I think, um, in the Northampton community and surrounding area. Uh, I think it would be empty. Like, it feels like this is such a center of community activity. I feel like without the why, like that, where would that happen? I think the why is basically one of the key community centers in town. Hundreds, thousands of people depend upon it for their social needs, for their fitness needs, for a place to feel connected to community. Um, I think it means a tremendous amount to community. And when I served on city council, I was very aware of uh, the vital role of so many of the nonprofits in this town, and particularly the Y. It's just a great connector. It's where a lot of people and issues meet up. It's in older folks and younger folks, and it's uh, just a spot where, uh, as best I can tell, everyone in the community feels uh, welcome and comfortable and enjoys hanging out with one another. Without the YMCA, the community would not be as rich in terms of both physical activity and social activity for a great cross-section of ages and um, persons within the community. Without the YMCA, the community would have a, a tremendous void uh, because I can't think of too many places where you can offer so many options for such a wide range of individuals. We would not have local gymnastics. <laughs> exactly. Without the YMCA, I would not be nearly as healthy as I am today. I think sometimes like healthy lifestyles can become kind of really elitist and only accessible to a privileged few and I think the Y really stands by its mission of um, making sure that it, like all of its programs are accessible. It's so expensive to enroll a kid in a, in a series of swim lessons and the fact that the Y makes that, or the, the, particularly the, the donations to the Y allow kids to have access to such an important skill to, so that they can be safe throughout their life to be able to, um, to be able to swim. I think honestly it's that analogy of putting your oxy oxygen mask on first. If you take care of your body, if you're working out on a regular regime, if you're going and creating community, you're actually exercising your mind as well and I think that can really help people get out of an economic situation. The fact that they make this place adaptable to in any, any like family with any sort of income, then it like helps build up confidence and helps build up those families. It's good that there's a place that everyone can go. So people of all different economic backgrounds can be together and that's really, I think, also important. Well, that idea of doors being opened, um, you know, I, I know that for my family with, with two working adults, we can afford the membership, but we had to pause and think about it. Um, and, and I recognize that that's, that's a choice we're able to make as a family. And, you know, I think that providing financial assistance for kids to come to high quality camps, um, to have high quality aftercare programs, to have um, highly reduced membership rates for people who are low income, then it really makes this a community place. A, a community place has to include people of all socioeconomic statuses and donating to the Y and helping the Y to fundraise is something that will open the door to more people being a part of this community. Swimming is actually a relatively inexpensive sport um, compared to like hockey parents that we know. Um, but it's still more expensive than a lot of things and you know there are fees for meets, fees for joining the team. And I think if, it, you know, if we can all do our part to make that accessible to more people, that would be a great thing. I think if I had gone to the Y that day and whoever was working there just said like, sorry man, this is the price, fixed rate, like, pay it or leave, like that, that would have been it, I would have just left and who, who knows, you know, I think that was like one of the early 
push us to be like, yeah, like, you're welcome here. Like, we'll make it work for you. It doesn't matter what your background is or what, you know, what you're going through now or later or your past, future. And I, that's one of the reasons I donate. The why will try and make it possible for anyone who wants to come, to come. If we can all help out a little bit and help to make being a member of the YMCA or participating in YMCA programs and camps financially accessible, then we've, we've opened the community and that makes us all stronger. I believe that people, um, people want to give, they just need an opportunity to give and that really makes people feel good. To, to, to make sure that like, people from all walks of life can be part of this thing together in the community, I think that's really, really important and emphasized. It brings a diversity of perspective and idea and program participants um, in all together and, and that makes us all stronger, it makes all of our experiences richer. Having this type of resource in the community, uh, especially you know, for the, uh, the healthy living programs, you know, the Parkinson's, the Live Strong, uh, and because this is such an important resource in our community, you know, your support for a place like this absolutely could end up helping a friend, a neighbor, a loved one.